Yeah, that I, kick I audio, baby. They do okay. All right, Dave Velvet, come on. Let's bring on bout number three. I'm jonesing. Uh, thank you, A1 Pawn and Guns, by the way. That fight was great. I appreciate it. We appreciate it. As long it. as it lasted, as it was awesome. Yes. I didn't have time. I was like, well, I think A1 Pawn and bang. Oh, oh. Wow, crap. oh, crap, we're underway. Oh, man, that was so cool. That was so freaking cool. Ladies and gentlemen, for our next bout, a 205 pound amateur matchup. Making his way to the stage and fighting out of the blue corner. Out of Fiorello Endorphin Factory in Lake Havasu City, Arizona. Please welcome Patrick the Hammer Bowman. Patrick the Hammer Buff been training at a Fiore's Endorphin Factory in Lake Havasu. Patrick says, look, he fought at our last card and he got beat. Okay, so he said, I had to work on a lot of transitional stuff. I had to work on my wrestling. And I had to work on my tan and my abs because this fight is at 205. He's no longer hanging in with the big boys at heavyweight. Dude, I'm really glad that he's down at 205. Oh, absolutely. I'm really glad because this this dude is tough. He's This is one of those stand-up guys that promoters love because he'd be like, shit, I need a heavyweight. I'll do it. Oh, oh you're not a heavyweight. I'll do it. And they, of course, we love, they, you know, we love these types of guys who will step up and take these hard fights. I'm really glad he's going to be at 205. I mean, I think he's going to be very competitive at this weight. I look forward to seeing him right. His opponent fighting out of the red corner out of Khalid's MMA in Chandler, Arizona, Matthew Big Daddy Stanger. Now, before I get into anything relating to Big Daddy, I gotta talk about Little Debbie Cakes. Cause the man said, can you put that in the commentary? I love Little Debbie Cakes. And I said, Matt, absolutely. I absolutely will. Now he said, look, I talked to, uh, there was a little bit of a, you know, back and forth going on in social media uh, for this fight. And uh, apparently uh, Boffman said that he wants to slang and bang. And uh, Matt says, hey, if that's true, let's give the crowd a show. He is more than willing to stand he, in the he, pocket and trade with you. He looks like if Zach Galifianakis could fight. That's, a, that's just the impression I'm getting from this guy. Well, he's a mobile mechanic. He is uh, <laughs> walking out to Taylor Swift. Awesome. And he's a, he's a mobile mechanic, uh, a father of two daughters. Well, one thing I notice about him is he has the right mind for what he's about to do. He's obviously chill, he's relaxed, he's in it, but he's also energetic. He doesn't look nervous. He's singing along, you know, so. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is sponsored by Against All Enemies, the place for firearms, ammunition, training, and equipment. Find them online at aaeamerica.com. Ladies and gentlemen, this 205 pound amateur matchup out of the blue corner, Patrick the Hammer Bowman. And out of the red corner, out of Khalid's MMA and Chandler, Big Daddy Stanger. AAE, which is a sponsor of this fight, I'm sure that was methodically planned. But I am excited to see Looks like this light heavyweight debut. What did what, uh, what Mr. Stanger weigh in at? They both weighed in on under 200. Nice feints here. Oh, Stanger with a little kick right there. Good leg kick. Man, he looks so calm in there. He does look very calm. Good kicks as, as, from Stanger. Especially because I think that there is a weight disadvantage in one way. Oh! Oh, nice punch there by Bowman. Good straight he, by Boffman. Oh, crap. Don't beat me up, Boffman. I'm sorry. I know. Boffman. Look at that double jab. That was, pute that was pretty. He's just but, touching. But oh, nice right from Stanger. Patrick's got to move his head. Oh, but, nice but, right hand. But look at oh, how, oh, 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 but look he how, is getting oh, after the it. The hammer with the hammer. The, the hammer. hammer. Oh, yes. And Boffman TKO from the hammer. The hammer brings the hammer. Stanger Whoa. said he was more than willing to trade in the pocket, and he paid the price. Wow. 
Patrick, the hammer brought down the hammer right there. I said it three times. Both I guys, I both guys were throwing again. good strikes. Yeah, they were. That wasn't going to last long anyway. No. That was awesome. Patrick, yeah. the hammer, Botman with a TKO. Oh, I love these finishes, Ed. No, right, we're going, they're going. I know. This fight was brought to you by Against All Enemies. You know, he's going to be so pissed that he finished this fight so fast because we couldn't get to it. Here goes the replay. Look oh, at this. Oh, there we go, there we go. Look at this. Oh, bang. Ow, ow, oh, ow. man. Look at these strikes. Those are hard. On Those the are ears. hard. Yeah. Oh, man. Good stuff from, stuff from Patrick Boffman. Wow. Good win, good TKO, first round TKO. Ice already on the face of Stanger. And he needs that. Yeah. Against all enemies. I think he found his, re his, his correct weight class for now. Yeah. Now he weighed in 199 pounds. I think the door is still open for middleweight and I think he'd be a big middleweight. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, wow. the referee calls a stoppage at 45 seconds of round number one. Your winner on TKO due to strikes out of the blue corner, Patrick the Hammer Bowman! Fiore's Endorphin Factory is definitely going to be having a party tonight. They yeah. are going to be celebrating. The endorf, the endorf, that sounds like a place that James Bond goes to have an orgy. The, the Endorphin Factory. I know, it sounds I like mean, as, a, as an up-and-coming fighter. Your gym sounds cool, Pat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> your gym sounds cool. I want to go there. An up-and-coming fighter like to, to, For these guys to be putting on performances like that, look, in the crowd, we've got Rich Franklin. I don't know if the cameras can zoom in on that, but one VP, Rich Franklin, is in attendance all night.